If you have an old Oyster card lying around that you no longer use, you could reclaim a share of £530 million sitting on unused cards. You can also get refunds for tube delays and reclaim up to a year's overcharges if you failed to touch out, whether you pay by Oyster card, contactless card or mobile device. The latest Transport for London figures show that there are more than 81 million Oyster cards out there that haven't been used for a year and that there's more than a whopping £530 million sitting on them which is made up of over £260 million in initial deposits when getting the card and over £270 million in pay-as-you-go credit. If you no longer need an Oyster card, you can get a refund of the initial deposit of £5, which is what you paid to get your card, and any remaining pay-as-you-go credit, which is any money you put on your card via the website or app or at a station or shop to pay for travel. But do bear in mind that your card will be stopped when you request a refund of the deposit and you won't be able to use it again. So how do you get your money back? Well firstly you'll need to find out your balance to know if there's anything to reclaim. You can do this by registering your card online or checking out a tube station ticket machine. You can then get your refund in one of four ways. You can get in touch with TFL by filling in their online form, including your contact details and your Oyster card number with TFL aiming to reply within 10 working days. You can contact TFL by phone. You should call TFL Customer Services on 0343 1234 with your Oyster card number. That phone line is open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. If you're at the station and have 10 pounds or less pay as you go credit, you can get a refund from tube station ticket machines. Just touch your Oyster on the yellow card reader, select Oyster refund and follow the instructions. The ticket machine will then dispense a refund in cash. And finally, you can contact TFL by post. Write to TFL customer services at the following address and make sure to include your contact details and your Oyster card number. Did you know that you can also claim a refund if your tube's delayed by 15 minutes or more? Delays can be fury inducing, but if your journey is delayed by 15 minutes or more, you can at least get your money back for the inconvenience. Whether you traveled using an Oyster card, contactless card, paper ticket, or mobile device, you can ask Transport for London for a refund as long as it happened within the last 28 days. You will get the value of a single fare for the distance you traveled. You can check this by visiting the TFL Single Fare Finder. I'll leave the link for that site in the description box below for you. TFL says you can't apply for a refund for delays outside of their control, which includes bad weather, engineering works, security alerts, strikes, and customer incidents such as a person falling ill on a train. And it will not give refunds to those traveling for free via a Freedom Pass 60 plus Oyster photo card or veterans oyster photo card or to children aged 11 or under who are traveling for free while accompanied by an adult. Before doing anything it's advisable to wait at least 48 hours as you might be refunded for your delayed journey automatically. Check if you have been by signing into your TFL account then go to view refund history where you'll be shown refund applications from the last 12 weeks. If you don't receive an automatic refund, you can apply for one by going to the refunds and replacement section of the TFL website and signing into your account. Once you've logged in, select the Oyster card or contactless card you use to travel, then hit the claim for service delay button and follow the instructions. Or alternatively, if you prefer to claim by phone, you can call TFL customer service on 0343 1234. Are you owed a refund if you fail to tap out? When using an Oyster card, contactless card or mobile device to travel on most Transport for London services, you must touch in and out by the yellow card release when you travel. If you don't, you'll be charged the maximum fare, which is usually up to £8.90. In 2021, TfL charged passengers almost £80 million in total for failing to tap their cards to show they had completed their journey. There is a quick way to get up to a year's charges refunded with some people having reportedly got over £70 back. But again, remember, before you claim, wait at least 48 hours after the journey as you may get an automatic refund. However, to claim manually, again, sign into your TFL account, select the card you use to pay for your journey, whether it's physical or linked to your mobile device, and click or tap on Journey and Payment History. 
Look for journeys with a yellow warning triangle next to them. They are usually incomplete. Then make your claim by filling in the form below the information. And finally, what if your Oyster card is lost, stolen or stops working? If you lose your Oyster card, it is stolen or stops working, notify TFL and it will transfer your credit to a new Oyster card and cancel the old card, as long as the old card is registered. If you didn't register your old card, create a free TFL account and register your new card when you get it. As if your card isn't registered, you cannot get a refund or replacement. You can report an Oyster card as lost, stolen or not working by signing into your TFL account, selecting the card, clicking or tapping on report card lost, stolen or failed and following the instructions. Again, if you want to do it over the phone, you can call TFL Customer Services on 0343 222 1234. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. Why not share this video with someone else you think may benefit from it? And if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.